but I'm just drained from like all the work. first 30 minute break um it's about 9 30 we gotta go back at 10 so far class has been hectic but not as hectic when you like read chapters and know like some of the stuff she's talking about but i just have a feeling that her practicum is going to be really 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 hard but i know i can do it but it's just a lot of learning like head to toe it's like so much y'all i'm gonna have to start practicing head to toes like asap and then right now we're working on the head nose and mouth and also we're doing the um not the eyes what was it yeah head nose and mouth so when we get back we'll be practicing the clinical skills on the head nose and mouth um and then yeah we'll be getting out of class at 12 i'm so i'm not even tired but i'm just drained from like all the work that is given during the little break that we have i might run to 7-eleven and like get a pack of noodles or whatever to heat up in the microwave i really have been trying to eat healthy so i don't know but i don't want to get anything that's like fattening that's why i decided to come here instead of going with everybody else i think they're going to chick-fil-a or something then i definitely do not need no chick-fil-a i'm trying to stay away from potatoes bread um y'all let me know if y'all think seafood bags i'm not flicking y'all y'all let me know if y'all think seafood bags are bad for you because tara was like oh they're not that bad for you because it's all seafood but the sauce is like insane and i always got to get white rice like i'd be extra and that's what the problem is but i definitely um i'm going to the gym today after class after my second class i get all at four on time it's not 29 right now like this might as well be a clinical day um but we have our break from 12 to 2 which is good so hey okay. i'll just see y'all in a little bit because i'm about to do some content and edit some videos and whatnot class has been good y'all we talked to some high school students that came in and gave them some advice um if they were looking to come into nursing and the advice we mostly gave is brush up on anatomy and physiology make sure that your grades are really good that you're doing the work and that your gpa is on point i didn't say gpa specifically but just making sure you do all your work like like you got it down packed and you're just focused and committed to whatever you want to do with, your, with yourself in your future so yeah and just for giving advice we got four points free on our exam period we have an exam right when we come back because we get back from spring break on the 11th i think it's the 11th so we really got a wow anyway um don't have class until two i told you i was going to go to 7-eleven and get some noodles but i'm really contemplating on getting some la Roya, which is this mexican place because I really want that or I'm kind of deciding like whether I'm going to wait and cook some tacos in the house because I have some taco meat in the house that has just been sitting there and I want to cook it yeah I really want to eat it bad with the spicy queso mm. I might just do that because I said I'm gonna stop eating out I really don't want to go to class honestly like I'm honestly over it I have to go to Chartway to like deposit some money so I should probably do that now or not I really don't want to go to class like for today I really do not want to go to the second class that I have I don't know I probably should just go but she's always canceling and I'm so freaking tired I don't even feel like doing anything at all should we go to 7-Eleven and just get noodles and then wait to go home to eat tacos that's not like a plan 
that definitely sounds like a plan i'm not gonna do too much i really don't i need to stop eating out so i'm just gonna go to 7-eleven it's up the street so hopefully when i get back my parking space will be here the problem i had last time when i had some noodles was i didn't have a fork so this time i'm gonna make sure that i get a fork Y'all, I haven't had these in a while, but these are really good. I might get this. Or the chicken ones down here. I mean, I'm gonna get a, a bottle of water just to put it in. to see how it's going to taste because I haven't had these in a while but I know it's super good oh I gotta drain the water I don't know how I'm gonna do that Twelve seconds later. It really wasn't that good. Like at all. It was actually really nasty. <laughs> Let me stop joking. Um, I'm about to do some work, edit some content. I'm about to post this video on TikTok. So y'all like it. I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'll just see y'all after I leave my second class. It's already one o'clock, so time actually went by fast. <clears throat> Which is good. So, we are me. tired and was honestly ready to just go but i stuck it out through the last class and she actually let us go early because our teacher got to drop all the way from yorktown to come to class y'all that's insane and it's like raining real 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 bad right now um so we went we got to go home early i'm in the house i got my crv sweats on i mean my crv shirt my sweat oh did i ever show y'all the slippers that my man got me for valentine's aren't they so cute and my feet done, period. They gotta be the center of attention. What? Y'all wanna say hey? Say hey! Say hi, homies. But, yeah, y'all. I'm about to make me some tacos, something like really quick and easy. Um, And then after that, what is y'all doing? What? What is it that y'all really doing? Kids. Kids. Um, then yeah, after that, I'm gonna study. I'm watching this show called Blood and Water, and it's so freaking good. Let me know if y'all have watched it before because it's a new season coming out. So now I gotta refresh my memory on like season one, two, and three because season four came out. And so I'm watching that while I'm cooking, and then I'm gonna do some work. I got some sim charts to do. I was able to do one during the break. Um, and then I gotta look over this CRV sponsorship stuff because we have another post coming out. I just gotta catch up on a lot. So I'll just see y'all 
in a little bit maybe to come to y'all to see y'all tomorrow or i might just see y'all tomorrow if we really don't have nothing else to talk about It's a new freaking day. Yesterday I didn't record because I just was not in the right mental space. But today's a new day. It's um, let's see, it should be Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. And guess who we have? A special guest, Nova. We're going to take her to get her um rabies vaccine because she has not gotten one yet, and she's already seven months. And now I finally have the time to do it. Well, I don't even really have the time, but I'm doing it before I go to class, which is at. One. So we're about to get this done and hopefully oh y'all it's been flooding because it's been raining so much. But anyways, we're supposed to have the appointment at eleven o'clock. Right now it's ten fifty three and we're gonna get there at ten fifty eight. So we're on good timing and then I already put on my Oh Oh my gosh I'm so happy my car just made it through that because I did not see that big pato. Oh my God, my heart just stopped. Oh my gosh. I probably got to take a different route. Ooh. If my car would have got stuck in that rain, I would have been so, let me put my glasses on. Because I would have been so pissed off. Um. But yeah, I already got my scrubs on. So if we're running a little bit late, then I can just come here and drop her off and then go to class, but I wanted to personally take her because men don't be knowing all the right stuff to, you know, do, acts, and you know, just men don't be knowing everything. So I wanted to take her myself. She looks so cute. She need to be calm because she literally just woke up. But um, yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just see y'all when we get there. It's raining super hard, so I don't know if y'all can even actually hear me, but yeah, BRB. Yeah, but you don't hear what I'm saying. Terrible outside today. Shout out the doggies. Huh. So cute how they had it set up. They have her name on the door. And when you come in, they have like new patients, Nova. And I was like, ah. I couldn't record because it was raining and I had her in my like jacket. But <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, I'm gonna try to record when I leave so we can get the full scenery. But I'll see y'all after and let y'all know how it went. I look rough, literally. Okay. They just came in here, took her um, heart rate, so cute, and then took her temperature in her ear, and she was acting so freaking jumpy like a bunny, but that's what she do when she's excited. But we just waiting for a technician now to come in and like I think give her her heartworm. I already know it's about to cost me so freaking much, but she got to get it done. So see you after. Say see you after. I cannot wait to she get a haircut, y'all. Ooh, careful. Y'all, I knew my total was about to be like 200 something. It came out to 220. I mean, not 220, 211. She had the appointment for her office call, so that was already $72 because she's a new, like, dog there. Then she had her Bortella and Parainfluenza. Then she had another vaccine that she has to come back in three weeks to get. Then she had a rabies. Um, we got a free neck scar to try, a fecal, and, yeah, that was it. She had two shots today. My baby was so, so brave. <laughs> Say you were so brave. Mm. I'm going to um, schedule her a grooming appointment 
um, sometime this week or next week maybe if um, I'm not doing anything but next week is spring break so I'm not sure so right now it's 11:59, and I have class at 1 so we're about to go drop Nova back off I don't know if I want to get something quick to eat well I have a banana because I'm trying to stay healthy you want a piece don't you they said that she might experience some side effects and if she does then I need to bring her back hopefully she doesn't because lord knows I don't want that stress on me but they said if Oh, they said if she does, then just bring her back. And the side effects might be like hives or um, swelling or something like that. And let's, God forbid that. I love her. She was such a good puppy. They had to give her lots of treats though. I will say. <laughs> but okay, y'all. Let's head home. Um, drop her off for like a little bit. And then start the day after i get out of class i'm actually going to go and oh still cold go and go to pet smart to pick her up some food some wet food we already have dog food but i want to get her some wet food what's this i took off groomers and see when they have their next appointment available so we can go ahead and get her scheduled to get groomed because she actually needs that really really bad um let's see also i scheduled an appointment for queen to come in hi can i schedule an appointment yes 804 it'll be for nova um, do you guys have anything tomorrow after 12? Yeah, let me see. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Period. Oh, I'm so happy for my baby. Hi, my Nova baby. All right, let's go, y'all. <laughs> She come in, make my nose ring bright. So when they hit it, make her feel like she got no spring bright. I hit him to the box, but up no springs bright. I hit it to the pussy, look like it don't seem straight. If you pullin' with your just make sure you don't bring shit. She thirsty for the. Yeah, Made it to class. It's been hectic this morning, but we're here. I gotta charge my camera because it's about to die. But let me get myself treated. I dropped my Stanley cup in the fucking rain. In the dirt. You know I won't restrain. I some water on the floor, no, it won't be rain. Killing the pussy made me hungry, need a four piece rain. Don't watch your bitch, she look like she from where the dope fiends hang. I'm in the city where the motherfucking coke fiends hang. Don't wanna fuck a bitch and give a bitch a nosebleed day. because I was setting appointments but we're at Chipotle because I'm super hungry and I want to get some food so no more because these chips right here are better these chips doritos yeah doritos so we're gonna get these i'm getting spicy now chill not really yeah. spicy now chill Just finished eating some of my Chipotle bowl. 
I never eat the full thing. I almost ate the full thing like one time when I was super, super hungry and it was super, super good. But today it wasn't that good. So I didn't eat it all. But right now I'm watching Blood and Water. Yeah, I'm about to do some homework. y'all welcome back to another day we headed to class y'all of course my professional development teacher canceled class yet again i'm not complaining i'm definitely not complaining because i needed the extra hour of sleep because why i stayed up until one o'clock watching blood and water because i'm getting so close to a new season since i restarted it and i was hooked okay so i was up to like one o'clock trying to find anything to eat in the house to watch blood and water with <laughs> mind y'all it's that time of the month so of course i was like scrambling like oh my god what i'm gonna eat because i only had like a couple bites of my chipotle bowl so it was up last night but anyways headed to class i have fundamentals for um today that's the only class i have from 10 to 12 and then after that i have to take nova to her grooming appointment which is at one o'clock so i have a little cushion in between um so during that cushion i may go to the grocery store i may not because i want to make some tuna and y'all might be thinking like yo tuna but no if you know how to cook and you know how to make it right tuna is so good if you go on giant ice page i'm gonna like try to put it up here then you will know how to cook some good tuna for like tuna sandwiches tuna cottas like it just be chef's kiss y'all so that's what i'm gonna cook so i can meal prep and try to stay healthy um i haven't been to the gym of course because it's that time of the month and i don't feel like going to the gym so i'm not gonna go i'm definitely gonna go after though but y'all it's march and i don't know if i told y'all i probably didn't tell y'all because i wasn't recording as much when i was working um but while i was working club pilates had like a membership thing that you can get and like the first 50 people would be founders y'all why was i like the third person because i was not playing as soon as the day came and you could start calling them i was blowing it phone up because i wanted to be a founding member not only do i love pilates but you could get a discount usually the unlimited which is what i get is 199 like a month but with the discount it's like 160 dollars so of course my man paid for it of course because i was paying for pilates by myself like why is that even the case so yeah he paid for like the first month i think and it's supposed to like open up in march because they're building a new location the one thing i hate about club pilates is that if you buy like a membership from one location that's the only location you can go to which i find is really stupid because there's a lot of club pilates out here and if i'm somewhere else then i would want to go to that club pilates so like i think they should fix that but don't give me the line it's supposed to open up this month so i'm super excited but i'm also super excited because clinicals is tomorrow and we're checking in at the hospital y'all like we're really going to the hospital tomorrow like can y'all believe it like i literally been recording since i started school so y'all should know the excitement i'm feeling right now i just went under the bridge y'all should freaking know the excitement i'm feeling right now because we came a long freaking way and it's been so freaking hectic i didn't couldn't even know the word to say for nursing school so far but it's been so freaking hectic like oh my, oh, praise jesus I, that's all i'm gonna say praise freaking god because without him i will not have been able to make it through this whole process because it's literally so much shit hold on y'all i gotta stop by some loving this water because i've been so dehydrated and i definitely need to not be dehydrated on my period but um yeah we got clinicals tomorrow going to the hospital so i'm gonna go over my grandma's house since the hospital is right up the street right now it's 9 33 so let me get my life together i'm not gonna bring y'all in dang why my glasses get that dirty i'm not gonna bring y'all in i'm gonna just show y'all what i got when i come back it's a lot going on up here the police up here and everything hold on the career is more at stake when you in your prime. Fuck that paper, baby, my face on the dotted line. I've been flying out of town for some peace of mind. Let's put this water in my steely. I already got some in here, but it's old water, so we're gonna throw 
it out. What I'm sipping, I can put you in the pick up brown. I'm the one that introduced you to the you right now. Oh my god, that be bait. Well, all right. It's the fact that I'm trying to talk to y'all all the way down here. Let's go. pretty quick and easy class I'm really not as stressed as I was before but that has changed since our teacher just gave us a talk before we left class because she asked us who basically read the chapter from like last class or whatever and nobody but one person put their hand up and she like after we finished doing whatever we was doing she basically gave us like a realization an opening that we really already knew but at the same time, it's different when it comes from like a teacher or whatever. But the realization was that you have to read. Like if you're in nursing school, sorry for the shaking y'all. If you're in nursing school, you have to read to pass your classes. And I personally, I'm not gonna say, I started off trying to read and trying to retain information based off all the chapters, but it really wasn't helping me as much on the exams as I could tell I felt the first two exams like I just passed the first exam from like a couple weeks ago but I try reading the chapters but it just can't process in my brain but I'm gonna still try to read them I thought I wasn't gonna do no work during spring break but I definitely am um and then like her little speech besides like reading was basically there is a few of us that are on the brink of not passing a class and having to stop like our future goals because we would need to retake the class again and I personally just feel like that is very correct like if we want to pass we have to put the time and the energy into passing like we can't just come to class unprepared and think oh I'm gonna know the information because at the end of the day do they read like and I definitely understand where she's coming from and I really appreciate it because, just a simple fact, because I kind of was giving up on reading my book, but it just like, once she said it again, it was just like, in my brain, like, oh, I need to make sure I pick up my book. Even if I'm not understanding information, I need to make sure I'm skimming or I'm at least reading, like, the words or whatever, not the words, but you know, the um, key terms that are in the beginning of the chapter to understand or try to understand what is going on and then further find resources like YouTube um, or something else to help me fully understand the information because baby I'll tell you one thing two things for certain I'm not failing this class I'm not failing no class I will pass and we will get through it because time and money spent like she said is it's hectic especially when you're using you're not trying to take out any loans using grants and you know the Pell Grant is like not forever so it's like you really have to stay focused in nursing school and I can honestly admit that I've been slacking this week because the simple fact that we're going on spring break so my brain has just been like oh spring break spring break it really hasn't been focused like on actually working in in school or whatever even though I get my assignments done I'm doing assignments every day my mind has really been in another place where like it needs a mental break from school which is okay but at the same time you still have to it's weird with nursing school because you can't really take a mental break when you need it you can but it can be like for five minutes an hour no less like it can't be like oh I, I'm gonna take the whole day off because you know you have assignments you have stuff you need to learn you have stuff you have to read so yeah that's just my little tidbit from today y'all i'm on the way back to the house and i have to take nova to her appointment at one o'clock right now it's 12 13 and i gotta use the bathroom so freaking bad i did not want to use the bathroom in school today because i hate using the bathroom um when i'm on my cycle in school because i just want to relax on the toilet TMI, but I just want to relax when I'm sitting down 
definitely can't do that in school because it's not my personal restroom but yeah i'm taking her to her appointment at one i was thinking about going to dmv to get my registration renewed because i paid the fee which is like 500 something dollars to get it um renewed or whatever because i got lots of toes y'all toes be adding up like that so make sure y'all pay your toes when y'all are using them don't wait to the last minute like me because you're gonna have hella toes but i paid some of it off i still have more to pay but that's just what i needed to pay to get my registration renewed so i am able to get it renewed i tried to make an appointment while i was in class um and they didn't have any appointments until like next week which i don't want to wait because i don't know if i'm gonna be out of town or not but most likely i'm gonna be out of town so it was just like I want to go in and just wait but at the same time y'all know dmv is so hectic like you go in eight o'clock in the morning you're not getting out until two o'clock like dmv be so packed and i'm just hoping that if i do go it's not packed because if it is i'm gonna just leave i also can order it online but the thing with ordering online is i have to wait for it to come so it's like i don't want to wait for it to come i'm ready to put my new registrations on right now because it's been a minute so i need to get all of that situated so I can get my car right but after getting registration or whatever I low-key want to go clean out my car I'm trying to be productive because I know that I'm in a sappy mood just because of my cycle and I don't want to be non-productive just because of that because I honestly could go in the house right now order some food sit down do some work and watch Netflix blood and water because it's getting so good but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna take Nova to her appointment then I'm going to go see what DMV talking about. If it's looking like a long wait, then I'm not waiting. I'm going to just order it online or go another day, like early, early in the morning. If not, then I'm going to wait. And then after that, I'm going to go clean out my car. Because they usually take a while to, like, let us know when they're ready. But, anywho, I'm going to stop rambling and see y'all in the house. We in the house. Coming to collect the package. We about to go, y'all. Look at Queen. She still got on her Heiko Chief. You ready for your appointment? Huh? You ready for your appointment? Give mommy a kiss. Give mommy a kiss. Thank you. Y'all don't mind how crazy she looked because it was raining last night. She has to go outside and she just finished drinking water. So y'all know she need a haircut real bad. But let's go because we're about to be late. I just dropped her off and now I'm about to go get something to eat because I'm starving literally. Um, and then after I get something to eat, I'm gonna go to DMV and see like if it's super packed. They told me it's gonna take about three hours for her to get done. And y'all, when I was in there, I was trying to explain to them how I wanted her cut, but since she has like if you have a Yorkie, you know, they easily get mad at if you're not combing them like 24-7. Like, I comb her, but I'm not like consistently combing her to where I'm just picking her up and I'm just combing her. Like, and I only have a comb. I don't have a brush. So I need to get her a brush. I thought I had one, but maybe I don't. I don't know where it's at at this point. But they said that she might look a little funny because I was telling them that I don't want all her hair gone. But I just let them... I just told him to do whatever because if she look funny then i'm going to be like looking like mm, is this nova or is this my else dog like i don't want her like with chunks and stuff so he gonna do his best to his ability to like get her situated but hopefully she comes back looking like a little princess because that's what i'm bringing her teeth out for i should have just tried to take out all the knots myself but like i didn't want to trim her like keep trimming her because they keep growing back like they keep growing back as knots when i shave them off oh that's the problem i don't shave them i cut them instead of shaving them and maybe like at the root of her leg so probably when they shave them it'll be better for her to like just grow another layer of hair because she her hair grew fast but yeah, just the mommy duties, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm about to go to this place called La Roya. It's like a Mexican restaurant. Not even Mexican. It's kind of Mexican, but it's kind of not. I think it's like Cuban or something like that because I'm getting some chicken stew and I'm getting Spanish rice. At the Mexican place, I be getting um like this burrito thing with cheese in it. But I don't really want my stomach to hurt. And 
I want to make sure I'm eating a like balanced meal because I'm on my cycle and I need nutrients because I already been losing hella electrolytes and fluids. So actually, I need to get some water too. So I'm gonna stop and get some water. Eat, wash blood and water. Ah! But anyway, y'all, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm gonna just see y'all um, at the Mexican place, Cuban place, whatever place we're going to. Food is secured. Oh my god. Let me see what it's looking like. Because I asked for extra potatoes. And they said they won't charge me for that. Starting off good. I got my utensils. What? Oh, it's time to eat. Yes, yes, yes. I'm super excited. I'm going to put my hair up. Matter of fact, let me put this bag back where it was. Set up my show. Okay. Peace, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Be happy. Who ate that the fuck up? Like, say that was what I needed. Like, that was most likely dinner because that just hit the spot. I'm getting kind of tired. I don't have no energy for it, for real. But I'm still out in the battle. Like I told y'all, trying to be proactive. So, yeah. BRB. She's trying to go. all of her like meal toppers so i'm here to get some more they still have the buy four get the fifth one free so i think i'm gonna just stock up on quite a few right now i was gonna get queen her like favorite like meal topper but they don't have it they have it in walmart usually but i'm not thinking about them stops because i still got shit to do so yeah i'm gonna get the chicken i think i'm gonna get four of each so i'm gonna get five of each because she really liked the salmon too so yeah <laughs> Y'all been here and it's super busy, but I still decided to get it just until they call me for Nova. Like, if I'm still not back there when they call me for Nova, then I'm gonna just leave. But this is my number. R245. I see a number up there that says R243. So hopefully it's only two people in front of me that has to go because I do not want to wait here all day. And maybe people will be staring at the plan. So mm -mm. you can miss me on that. Uh, it's 311. And we'll see what time I get out of here. I dropped Nova off at 1 o'clock. So night. So I'll just see y'all as I leave here. <laughs> registration my new registration and then my decals until march of 27 i was like i might as well get three years instead of two because i can always change my license plate if i get a new car but my camera is literally dead i just put it on charges to tell y'all that i'm gonna call to see if nova's ready because they had her since one o'clock it's literally 3 35 right now and then if she's not ready, I'm just going to the house or wait outside, depending on how long it might take. But Micah just texts me, asks me what I'm doing. I'm about to call him and let him know that your girl is official again. And he need to put these on my 
plates. I mean, I can do it myself, but I really don't feel like doing it right now. So, yeah. I'm about to head back over to the house. Four moments later. Y'all, I cannot wait till we get in the house. But look, I got to show y'all her now. Because look at my baby. They really trimmed her up. Oh, my gosh. She has so much hair. Hi, mama. I missed you. You smell so good. She has so much hair, y'all, but they had to get all the mess and stuff out. So they really trimmed her. Ah! I feel like such a proud mom right now. Like, my baby. Y'all see her handkerchief? Oh, I love her so much. But anywho, I'm about to take her out. I really want to take her to the dog park, but I really need to sit down after getting out of school and do some work or whatever. So I'm about to go in the house. And I told you I wanted to go to the store because I wanted to make some tuna. But instead, I'm going to just Instacart that because I'm just super tired. So, yeah, I'm about to bring her to see her little papa. Say hi, mommy. Oh, my God. My baby looks so cute. Like, I cannot believe she had a haircut. Okay, bye, y'all. I'm finally in the house. I literally been out since... I'm going to say I woke up at 8.30 because I did wake up at 8.30. i literally been up since 8.30 right now. It's 5.36 and I'm finally settled down in the house. Nova, come here. Come here, mommy. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy that she looked so cute. She looked so cute. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow morning for clinicals. I'm going to tell y'all my thoughts. Oh, my camera is about to die. But I'm about to just do some homework, watch Blood and Water, and get my life together. So, yeah, catch y'all in the morning. Last day. Morning, y'all. It's literally... Oh, uh, hold on. It's literally the morning of... And I'm getting ready to go to the hospital. I'm already feeling like a nurse. Wow, who would have freaking thought? Hold on, y'all. Let me grab a rack. Oh my god. I'm just honestly. Like, out of all the emotions, I think I'm more so excited than comes nervous. Like, I'm not really worried that I won't do well because nursing school, y'all know how I go here in nursing school. Like, it is what it is. So. I'm just excited to learn and I hope that the person that they pair me with is also excited to learn because this is going to be an exciting day. I'm not going to do a full skincare. I'm going to just do my vitamin C and my moisturizer today. We back y'all and oh my god as you can tell by the smile on my face today has been a great day clinicals went super good we actually went to the hospital from 6 30 like 7 o'clock to um like 12 o'clock because we just did orientation today so we met everybody we like walked around the hospital to the different units i seen the er which i want to work in because i want to be a travel er nurse and then we went to all the other units, introduced ourselves to everybody. We got to actually go in a patient, two patients' rooms, and we got to see like a 12 lead, 12 lead EKG set up on a patient. And then we got to see 
um, a lady doing ultrasounds, like getting ultrasounds for the liver or gallbladder and all the stuff like in the stomach. So that was really, really cool. I don't think I would do ultrasound or like EKG because those two people, they literally do that in the hospital and that's it. And I think it would be pretty boring for me. That's why I just am so obsessed with becoming an ER nurse. But I'm home right now and I'm about to take the kids out to the doggy park. So I got to go pick up Queen and um, get her so we can go. Y'all, it's literally spring break. Like, we made it to spring freaking break. Come here, Nova. Come here. Oh, my baby. We made it to spring break, which is so crazy. Like, can y'all even imagine what we've gone through to get here, y'all? Like, it's so insane. But this morning, I told y'all my car wasn't working and Devil was working his hardest to try and stop me from going to clinicals but it started actually working just like five minutes ago when i tried to go out there and do it i don't know what's going on with it y'all let me know if y'all like car does the same thing or if y'all ever had that issue but i'm gonna still take it to the shop um i don't know when because maybe they be charging like 170 dollars just for a diagnostic but i think i really need a brake light switch which is what one of my friend's brothers had said because she called them and asked him like what what's wrong with it and he said i need a brake light switch so i'm gonna see if that is the problem but anyway i'm about to get ready in a second to go to get queen and i'm sorry i didn't record in public because my camera was acting so stupid like i fully charged it last night so today i could record even though i already knew that today i wasn't really gonna be able to record that much but after we got out of class, I was trying to record to update y'all and, like, to bring y'all in Publix with us. But it wouldn't, like, record. Like, my camera was literally dead. And I thought that it was charged. But, obviously, I, I probably left it on. And we didn't get no break to go, like, in a car or nothing like that. So, yeah. It was a great day. The devil tried to stop me. But he could never. I'll just see y'all.